Hello and thank you for joining me. I am Dread Narcissus, they, them, not a lady. Today I'm going to be giving um, reviews of a bunch of my favorite indie uh, Bath and Body products. So it is World Goth Day and that is why I have this cute inverted spiderweb look on today. Um, I've got my best little black necklace ring. Very cute. My face does not match my neck and don't come for me. Anyway, moving on, um, we have Lift Soap from House of Glory. This is my favorite. It's Betty uh, flavored. Don't eat it. Um, it is a medley of jasmine, mint, and lavender teas paired with a gooey marshmallow. It smells wonderful. It's green and I love using it. I'm almost out. I need to get more. Um, this is one of my favorite products. <laughs> You <laughs> just dropped it. It's one of my favorite products to use, especially for shaving. Like, um, I get stubble and stuff, so, like, I'll use it to shave my face with and, um, uh, you know, other such unmentionables. But, uh, don't use that for anything unsafe. Don't ingest it. Don't... It's it's not for internal consumption, you know what I mean? Any, any such place like that. Um, uh, and of course, all these products I bought with my own money. I'm not, like sponsored or anything like that. I'm just a fan of these companies. So we have um, Twisted Allure. This is Whipped Sugar Scrub. I really like uh, her Whipped Sugar Scrubs. This, these are my favorite for um, exfoliating my body and things like that. Well, I say things like that, but that's like, that's what you use it for. Um, but this is really good. I'm almost out of this. However, yeah, boy, I got a backup. So that is very good. This is strawberry marshmallow and it's just a very pink smell. It's sweet and it's yummy and I like it. Um, and when I, after my bath or sometimes I'll put it in my bath, I like to use bath oil uh, as moisturizer. I'll just kind of pour it in my hand and rub it all over my body. And it's very moisturizing. I feel so soft and lovely um, and it smells great. Uh, this is by Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Um, this is my decant that I have that I'm almost out of. Uh, it's really gross and nasty. Uh, it's called Gently Gently. But I also got a backup of that when it came on Etsy. It's not been opened. This is how it's, it was packaged. This is a great warm hug of relief. Snow dusted carnation and sweet clove. So that's actually what I'm wearing today. Because it's just, oh, it's so good. Tasty. Um, that's one of the few clove scents that I actually really like. Um, and then I have a product, it's called Hair Gloss, but because my hair tends to, um, it'll, it hyper produces, sorry, it hyper produces oil. So uh, I don't really like to spray this in my hair. I'll spray it like as a kind of alcohol-based perfume would, you know, like you spray it in the air, walk through it or whatever. Um, and like sometimes like I'll just spray it directly on my clothes. I've never noticed a staining, but if it happens to you, I'm very sorry. Uh, I'm not telling you to do it. You know what I mean? Um, this is also by Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. That the That's where the rest of these products are coming from because I go hard in Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. That's B-Pal. B-Pals are my pals. I love them. So... This, um, it doesn't have the scent notes on this particular one, but this is basically, uh, this is one of their co-founders signature scents. It's called Dorian. This is one of my favorites and I've used it so much, but I barely, I haven't even gotten to half yet. Oh, it's such a comfort scent for me. It's basically supposed to smell like sugared Earl Grey tea. And um, I think like cookies or something, but it's it's very sweet and comfortable and nice. Uh, it's a really popular um, scent of theirs. They have a they have it in um, perfume oil as well, which is the next product coming to. They have five milliliter perfume oils. This is Kubla Khan. This is one. This is the first scent of theirs that I ever bought. So this is what started it all for me, and. Um, this particular bottle is at about half um, because this is another comfort scent for me. Mm. Uh, this just has the label. It doesn't say any um, like 
scent notes or anything like that, but there's a lot of stuff in here. It's like mint and amber, opium, all sorts of really good goodness. So uh, this is from their general catalog and um, it's really, really good. And then they also have little, um, they, they're they called imps, they're uh, tester scents. These are one milliliter vials. This is the lights of men's lives. It's a very delicious, um, Mmm, like a, like a beeswax candle honey smell. So good. So good. I'm going to have to get a full uh, bottle of that. And then uh, when the pandemic kind of started and everything, they uh, released some more of their soaps that were very popular uh, a bit ago. And I was able to secure a couple of them because I had wanted them before. Uh, this one is unopened. Um, because I didn't really want to handle a <laughs> open bar of soap, but this is pumpkin cheesecake soap. Uh, I haven't had, you know, it smells good from outside of the plastic, but currently I'm using pumpkin spice everything and it's wonderful. I really like it. One of my favorite uh, Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab products is their nail polish. This is um, from their Crimson Peak line. It's called Dream Awake. It's um, one of their Edith Cushing uh, colors. It's a very pretty kind of gold. So pretty. It's almost like a, a white gold. It's not so much a yellow gold, but it's very, very pretty. And I like it a lot. So that is it. And that sums up pretty much all of my favorite, um, not just... I could go on and on about all the different scents that I like, but um, they have the hair gloss, they have bath oil, they have, you know, their perfume oil, and all sorts of stuff. I have a bunch of lockets from them, but it's not like a Bath and Body product that's jewelry, but still, they have a lot of stuff, and I love, love, love their stuff. I will support their company as long as I can. So that's everything, and I hope you enjoyed. Um, leave some comments if you like BPAL. Tell me what your favorites are. Um, I want to know what you have emptied because it is so difficult for me to run through uh, an entire anything, especially like if I don't have a backup. So I'm like, ugh, I need more Betty. Whoa, green Betty, I need some more. Need some more of that soap? Uh, yes, I do. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> um, please do feel free to, like, comment and subscribe and let me know about all of your beautiful gothy products because, uh, Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab is very, um, goth, uh, what do I say? Goth. What's the word I'm looking for here? Oh, my eyes look black right now. Hold on. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they're, they're goth friendly, uh, and so is Twisted Allure, which, uh, they have kind of that edgy vibe and everything. House of Glory is just kind of, uh, they make perfumes and all sorts of, um, you know, soaps, body emulsions, which are like, uh, lotions and things like that. But this is my favorite, so this is what I wanted to show. Anyway... Uh, that's enough of my rambling. I'll let you move on with your day. Thank you for coming. And yeah, have a good one. Okay, bye.